let's discuss the key characterization techniques for nanomaterials we know that there are microscopic techniques we know that there are spectroscopic techniques we know that there are macroscopic techniques let's discuss each in detail in microscopy we use photons we use electrons ions or physical cantilever just like in the case of atomic force microscopy to explore the surface and morphology of a material. Common example of microscopy techniques include scanning electron microscopy. We also have few emission scanning electron microscopy, which produce better resolution, better image quality than SEM. The second is transmission electron microscopy. Both use electrons to probe the material, to explore the material. The third one is atomic force microscopy, which is a, use the physical cantilever, the physical contact to probe, to explore the surface. The next is scanning tunneling microscopy, which also use electrons. X-ray diffraction topography, which use X-ray, which is photons, which is basically photons. The last one is optical microscope, which use light, light, which is photon again. Now let's discuss the spectroscopy uh, techniques. Spectroscopy techniques used to reveal the chemical compositions, the crystal structure, or the up to electronic properties. Up to electronic properties mean optical and electrical properties, just like absorbance, just like the PL, like the emission, just like the absorbance, all these properties, just like the band gap, the band gap energy. So we use spectroscopy techniques. It includes the UVVs. FTIR, steady state PL, time result PL, XRD, EVX, XPS. Now the macroscopic characterization technique basically used to study bigger objects in which do not require light or uh, electron. The first one is basically DSC and the second is uh, TGA, uh, mechanical testing, textile, compressor, torsion, all these techniques come under the microscopic technique.